Good morning. I want to welcome you all, especially those of you who are new to... Mm. Karen, are you nearly done here, love? Mm. Just a minute. How are you feeling? See ya. Mm. Harry, hang on, I'll give you a lift. Why are you still me? <laughs> Go on. I made you a coffee. I thought you might need one. You're not going back to bed. I wish. Out when you're ready, um, will you give me a call? Yeah, well, we heard anything from Jess. Yeah, she texted me. Emma's mum's gonna drop her off at school. At least we know where she is. Karen. I'm sorry, I just thought it might be nice if one of my children was around to offer me some support my first day back. And I thought we were trying to get things back to normal. And your point is? And what's more normal than a kid treating us with contempt? <laughs> <laughs> Oof. You got a ladder in them. Oh, sod it. <laughs> Me, and then come and find me. One, two, three. Right, I'm off. Charlie, hmm? I'm going. All right, okay. Knock on bed, love. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh. oh. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So you've been press ganged into the welcoming committee too. Uh, Chris just wanted a new head to see some friendly faces when she arrives. Which makes me wonder what you're doing here. Well, I'm prepared to give her a chance, which no doubt she will squander by promising everything and delivering nothing. Well, I heard she saved her last school from special measures. Yes, and then immediately resigned. How do you know that? I have my sources. Oh, you mark my words, they've stuck us with another lemon. Morning. How are we all? We ready to go? Oh, what's up with you? Get out the right side of the wrong bed this morning. No, I couldn't possibly comment. I don't believe it. Is that who I think it is? You're a nice sister. Janice. Mr. Clark, Jen. Or Jen. Thought we'd seen the back of you. Janice is a former inmate. <laughs> Can't believe I'm back. Ace, hey, so what's the latest? I want all the goss. Yeah, what have you been up to? Just thought it happened. Hey, I've got a new job. I'm the new school second. 
<laughs> God help us. <laughs> well, this day just gets better and better. Put your tongue back in, Tom. That's our new head of Spanish that you're dribbling over. Hola! Does she have a name? Cheska. Cheska Montoya. Cheska Montoya. Hannah? It's Mr. Kirby, isn't it? They're not staying here. Oh, I think I better get over there. Chris. Is this her having the road rage incident with the parent? Nice start. Do you think we could Jonah, just... in the car. I think we should give this place a chance. Mr. Kirby. Do you even know what I've given them? How far ahead they are? Beyond anybody in this dump? Marcus, stop it! Think about what you're doing to them! Perhaps you should both think about that. Can we move this inside, please? Yeah, Mr. Kirby, if you'd like to come with me. Dad? It's OK. Right. You two, into assembly with me, please. Oh. And that goes for the rest of you. Inside, please, now. Well, oh, come on. You heard Mrs. Fisher. In you go. A lemon, eh? Give it time. Which brings me around to telling you about the things that are going to change this year. That's what you all want to hear about, isn't it? The cooler. It's gone. It does not exist anymore. Well, I'm glad you all approve of that, but perhaps I should point out that in future, all troublemakers will be sent to me. Because if you're causing trouble in my school, I want to know why. And you will explain yourselves to me. Not that there is ever any excuse for violent, disruptive, or disrespectful behavior. No excuse whatsoever. Which is why there is another new rule. Three strikes and you are out. The first time you are violent, disruptive, or disrespectful, you'll be suspended from school for two weeks. The second time, you'll be suspended for three weeks. And if you are stupid enough to do it a third time, you'll no longer be welcome at my school. So I hope I've made myself perfectly clear, and I'm sure it won't stop us having an enjoyable term at Waterloo Road. Does anyone have any questions? Good. Then let's make a start. I told you about this before. What the hell do you think you're doing? Don't talk to me like that. <sighs> Why didn't you come home this morning? Because I didn't want to. It's not about what you want, is it? I need to know where you were last night. I sent Dad a text message, all right? That's not good enough. I honestly don't see what your problem is. Angela's mum said that... Angela, you were at Angela's last night, were you? Yeah. OK, so can you just leave me alone, please? We'll talk about this later. <sighs> Whatever. Nice shoes, yeah. Three strikes off further than you had. I don't know. Miss Fisher seems all right. What? Oh, no, not in that way. Ugh. <laughs> I mean, she seems pretty reasonable. Yeah, for now. Give her a few weeks, she'll soon be throwing a weight about. Well, she's the head. Yeah, but we run the school, innit? Yeah, that's right, you tell him. Oh, making new friends, are we, baby brother? Get stuffed, Jess, I'm not a baby. 
<laughs> yeah, he's a right little rebel, your brother. He's gonna show Fisher who's boss. Oh, are you finally gonna stick up for yourself against Mummy, are you? Just don't. Mummy? He is Fisher's number one son. Oh. <laughs> we busted his business <laughs> spy. Just cos she's my mum. I'm not gonna tell her anything. No, don't believe that, OK? Because little piggies have big ears. And you are Mummy's little piggy, aren't you? You're not supposed to call me that anymore. But it suits you, Piggy. You know, I was hoping I might get called by my actual name at this school. What is your name? It's Harry. Harry. Don't answer to Piggy if it's not your name. <laughs> um, excuse me, but we're having a private conversation here. Oh, sorry. Just didn't sound like that. Really, what did it sound like? That you were trying to make yourself look big by humiliating your little brother. Speechless. Didn't think I'd see that. <laughs> right, first lesson, English literature. What about you? I've got Spanish. Oh, you'll be all right. Just don't be too much like Ruth. Gee, thanks. I'll right, see you at lunch. Right, in you go. Quietly. Morning, Miss Fisher. I've been there waiting for you. Talk about tense. Right. I've sorted out all your post. God, you get loads, don't you? Right. First things first. Did you have that when I interviewed you? Just sort of popped out over summer. How many months, Denise? Six. Maybe seven. I'm not quite sure. I'm not being sick anymore, if that's what you're worried about. Now, listen, all of this stuff needs editing, OK? Anything from the LEA, Department of Education, new guidelines, all needs to go in the round file. Round file? And everything else I'll deal with eventually. It's your job to sort out that crap so I can get on with my own job, OK? You're my gatekeeper. Got it? Don't worry, Miss Fisher. Your gate is now shut. You ready? Yeah. Right. No calls while we deal with this. I'm doing five years of my hard work. Why does everything have to be about you? It's not. But you know what this is really about. Why don't you take a seat, Mr Kirby, and enlighten us? The educational system in this country fails children like mine. For the last five years, I've been teaching my children one-to-one -one with great success. Success. They have no friends except each other. They know nothing but textbooks and exams. They're focused. They're hothouse flowers. Well, this is clearly old territory for both of you. So why don't we find a way to move this forward? Well, that's what I'm trying to do. Let my children develop. Let them grow. There are things that they need to learn that you can't teach them at the kitchen table. Ruth has an IQ of someone twice her age. Do you even know where this school is on the league tables? League tables are only part of the story. This is a multicultural school with a very diverse catchment area. We cater for the needs of many different children here. Words. Just words! Well, we're going to back those words up with our actions. See, I've looked at Ruth's records, and I agree. We need to take an unconventional approach with her. So she won't be placed in her own year group. Instead, we'll fast-track her straight into GCSE classes. But that's just more hot housing. You're missing the point. Realistically, Mrs Kirby, if we put her with her own peer group, she'll be bored before first period. Also, I've asked one of our pupils to help her through her first week, Sam Kelly. She's a real Waterloo Road success. Mr Kirby, my first priority is to make this school a very safe environment. I do not tolerate violence or bullying. Your children We'll be very safe here. I can promise you that. You've got one week. Lauren? Lauren? Mr Mead asked me to look after the new girl, Ruth. And I thought we could do it together. Yeah. Make friends with the homeschool freaks, although rather a freak than a total user. What's the matter with you? You spend all summer with your boyfriend, and now he's dumped you, you want to talk? Nice one. Well, Lauren, it's not like that. 